In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use Moz's Keyword Explorer to uncover new keyword opportunities and also look at the difficulty for the keywords that you're researching. It is one of the most comprehensive uh, keyword tools out there. There are a lot of different other ones. I can definitely rattle a few off, but I'm just going to go off of Moz uh, Keyword Explorer right now and show you the power of, of what they've got here. So I think they've, they've developed something great um, since focusing more on, on, on search engine optimization again. So. Let's take a look at a keyword here. Let's just try uh, online education. Okay, so online education, let's give it a shot. And you can see right away when it loads, it shows the rough volume for online education. So it's 6,500 6, to about 9,300 volume uh, per month. And I'll show you, uh, I'll show you right here, you know, what um, each metric actually means or what uh, will define everything for you. So you can see volume ranges show you with 95% or more accuracy how often a term phrase is searched uh, for in Google each month. So you can see, you know, it's a pretty decent keyword. And here's the thing, the difficulty is extremely high uh, because you have to look at the people that are actually in the, in the search result pages. So if you look at the top three, it's going to give you a SERP analysis really quick. And you can do the full analysis, uh, but just for the sake of trying to get something done quickly, if you just want to look at the top three, it's going to give you a rough idea of, of how competitive it is. And this is helpful because you can see EDX is actually a very popular um, MOOC or massively online um, uh, online courses and uh, you can see another one is US News so their domain authority is very very high so it's very competitive because these sites have a lot of links going to them already so you have, you're competing with 68, 93 and 81. Um, what I do like to look for as well is if there's a Wikipedia result so let's take a look at this, the, the full analysis um, and you can see there is no Wikipedia result right here it's really really competitive um, but you know there is some room. You know you can see domain authority right here, forty-two. You got fifty. But what I really look for, why I mentioned Wikipedia, is because sometimes when there's a Wikipedia result, more often than not, that means you do have an opportunity uh, to get a good, you know, a top five result. Because the, when there's a Wikipedia result there, not a lot of the Wikipedia pages are getting linked to, which means you have an opportunity there. Granted, there are some Wikipedia pages that have lots of links to them because they're so good um, and they have a lot of links. You know, Wikipedia's domain authority is very high, but given that there's so many things that they're they, so many pages that they have so many things that they're defining not all of them are going to have a lot of links pointing to them so just keep that in mind so you take a look at this you can see yeah it's super competitive but there is some room to get into it you know but you look at the top four very very competitive so um you know you might look for different permutations of, of this but you can see there's a volume the difficulty if the difficulty is above you know let's just say uh 50 then you might want to you know take a look and say okay maybe we want to reevaluate and take a look at another keyword but if your domain authority is very high let's say you know it's it's 80 or so you might want to give it a shot you know at, at the keyword difficulty when it when it's at a uh, 76 or so the opportunity at 53 shows you um you know what based on the volume and based off of other metrics you know how much opportunity there is with the keyword and the potential so you can take a look at these you know um and you can take a look at the potential as well just to see what it means. And then they'll give you different keyword suggestions as well. So you can click on this, see 1000 suggestions, and you can also export to CSV and make a list as well. So very helpful to use. Um, and you can, you can just select each one and add it to your list and you can tell your content writers, hey, we wanna you know, focus on these keywords. Uh, you can also look at these keywords to you know, create new ad permutations in uh, AdWords as well. So. Online education, you know, that's a very difficult one. Why don't we take a look at online education uh, programs or online education classes or online education degrees, okay? As, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna look for something that's a little less competitive. How about we do a uh, future of online education? Let's give that a shot. So future of online education, let's take a look at the overview. And you can see for this one, the difficulty has dropped to 51. So when you start to go more long tail, you know, you're know you gonna have more opportunity. Even though the volume's small, like if there's a lot of really qualified researchers searching for the future of online education or maybe some type of executive looking for it, you might have an opportunity there. So this, this one's showing that the opportunity is 88 and the potential's uh, 53. I believe the potential is basically the difficulty multiplied by the opportunity, um, some type of combination there. But this just goes to show you the, the, the power of Google Keyword Experience you might want to mix it with other keyword tools like uh, Google Keyword Planner as well just to come up with ideas there and you can come up with new permutations you can also use uber suggest uber suggest will give you a lot of different keyword ideas too that's a free tool keyword tool.io that is a paid tool um, Moz is obviously a paid tool as well so yeah I mean this is you know I, I think this is a great great feature out here 
um, you can see the top three, you know, you have 97, 96 domain authority, and then you have a 33 domain authority. So there is opportunity with this one. So yeah, I mean, this is just basically how you can analyze SERPs really quickly without having to, you know, open a bunch of tabs and try to figure things out on your own. This makes things a lot easier. And I think this is something you want to take advantage of um, while you can.